Royals putting runners at first and second to begin the inning. MJ stands in against the righty Morgan. Swing and a line drive down the right field line. That ball is going to be off the fence. And now they're going to say it's a home run. It got over the yellow line and it's a three run homer. That's what Tom Hanahan, the first base umpire, is saying home run. Well, Cole Reagans was very shaky the first couple innings today. And the pitch is low for a four pitch walk. There was something about Reagans' last pitch that raised a red flag. And I think he's going to come out. So an intentional walk will set up a righty righty matchup with Big Christmas. Swing and a high drive deep into the left field corner. Melendez is on the run. He dives and he caught it. He gave the Royals the lead with his three run homer in the fourth. Now he preserves it. It's Bobby Witt Jr. leads off the eighth. In the air, deep to left center field. Quad in the track, turns around. It's out of here. Believe it. Bobby Witt Jr. gives the Royals the lead. And it's four to three in the top of the eighth. Brings up Salvador Perez. And an RBI ground out his last time up. Payoff pitch again, and Salvi smashes it deep to left center field. Quan and Brennan are back. They both look up. It's gone. A solo homer for Salvador Perez. And the Royals lead five to four in the top of the fifth. So now two down for Salvi with the bases still loaded. Oh, fly ball, left center field, gone! Six RBIs for Salvi tonight. Grand slam number six. Stay hot, Captain. Danny Jansen was traded on July 27th to the Boston Red Sox. So he's in the lineup today catching while he's at the plate batting. The count is 0-1 on Jansen slash Varsho. There goes Schneider. A swing and a miss by Varsho, and the throw skips into center field. So Varsho strikes out, and again, that goes on his record as Schneider steals second. Sox have just two hits. Toronto has one base hit by Varsho in the fifth inning. Springer gets a ball high in the air to deep left field, and this one is going to be long gone. Right on out of here, way over the monster. And the Blue Jays have the first run of the ball game. The error by Casas could prove costly. As we've said, Vladdy so hot, and he has owned Fenway Park. Guerrero lines it down the right field line, a base hit. Servant is going to come in to score. Ernie Clement is getting the wave, and he will come in on a two-run double by Vladimir Guerrero, Jr. He stays on that outside fastball and hits it down the right field line to give the Blue Jays a little cushion. Now the Blue Jays have two on for the top of the order. George Springer is up. This is a well-hit ball towards the right field corner, and it's gone! Right around the pesky pole into the seats down the right field line. It's a three run homer for George Springer. Bottom of the eighth inning, five to one Blue Jays. Barrios has allowed one run. And on one out, Duran two doubles, one off the wall and left, one to left center. 1 0, -oh, this one drilled into center field. Loper Fido turns. That one is gone. Sharon Duran demolishes a two run blast to dead center field. And the Sox within two in the bottom of the eighth. So here's Yoshida, the last hope. He single grounded into a double play and bounced out to the shortstop. And that is the ball game as Little finishes it off. The Red Sox have now lost five in a row. Toronto has a six game win streak. So here's Castellanos. The Astros are playing the infield in, all four right to the edge of the grass. Line drive, base hit it to center field. He broke his bat. Harper will score. We are tied up at two. And now it's up to Yiner Diaz, who is one for four with a single in the eighth. Line drive out to center field. Rojas got a late start. Makes the diving play. He just saved a run. Wow. We're going to the bottom of the tenth. It's still 2-2. Two -two. Josh Hader against Bryce Harper here in the bottom of the tenth. Ground ball, right side, into right field, a base hit. Here comes Schwarber out there and heading for home. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time! Bryce Harper wins it here in the bottom of the tenth inning, three to two. Major League debut for Dylan Cruz. Standing ovation from Nationals fans. And it's going to be hit solidly, but high in the air out to Juan Soto. Cruz halfway to second by the time that ball's caught. Two down. Not a bad swing. The former Yankee farmhand Andres Chaparro in the batter's box. Drives it in the air. Deep left center. Judge leaping. And he oh, made wow. the catch. Oh, Aaron Judge. What a play. He does it all. And there's the double play. My goodness. 
And then completes the play on a beautiful relay. Torres LeMayhew inning over. Austin Wells will lead off the top of the sixth. Yankees up two to nothing. Pitch is hit in the air to wow. deep right. Oh, back goes the right fielder. You can forget this one. Austin Wells with an absolute bomb to right field. And the Yankees extend the lead to three to nothing. Top of the ninth inning here in the nation's capital. Yankees five, Nationals two. Here is Judge. One hit away from a thousand. Lines that to right field into the corner. There is hit number 1,000 in the career of Aaron Judge. Well, another baseball that will end up in his locker after the game hit number 1,000 for his career. A free pass for Soler, two on, nobody out. Climbing in Marcelo Zuna. Ground ball up the middle. Whit Merrifield will turn, and three batters in. Atlanta has a one to nothing lead. RBI single, Marcelo Zuna. So the Braves have a chance here to deal a strong blow in the top of the first as Matt Olson digs in. Another 0-2 to Olson. Oh. That ball is hit high and deep to right field, and it is long gone. A three-run bomb for Matt Olson. Four batters in. And it's 4 nothing Braves before the seats are even warm here in Minnesota. Travis Darno trying to keep it rolling. Mm. Deep to left. Stay fair ball. Yes, it will. A two-run blast off the bat of Travis Darno. It's batting practice right now for the Atlanta Braves in the Twin Cities. And the Padres have their first base runner of the night. Randy Machado is that cleanup hitter. Is the one and one. Machado drives on out towards deep center field. Back goes Victor Scott at the wall. That ball is gone. Machado, a two-run home run in the first inning. His 21st of the year. Padres take a 2-0 lead. Padres cooking here in the fifth, first and third, no outs. Andy Machado, the batter, he has scored two of the four Padre runs. Line shot out of the reach of Arenado. A fair ball down the left field line. Scoring from third is Profar, and the Padres take a 5-2 lead. Well, what do you know? Just another tough A-B being turned in by Jackson Merrill. 2-2, two, two, reach four, poked into right center field. That'll drop down and another base hit. Machado scores easily. Merrill an RBI single. He's driven in three. And the Padre lead is 7-2. to two. And Polanco's had a nice little stretch recently. Oh, this is smacked down the line. Does it have the height? It hit right off the foul pole. Now the Mariners won. The Rays won on a rocket off the bat of Jorge. And that will bring up Randy Arozarena. Arozarena, fly ball. Randy's first home run at T-Mobile Park as a Mariner has given the Mariners a 4-1 lead. Suzuki at second for Bellinger. Line drive right field. And that gets down and it's going to get up against the wall. Suzuki is coming around to score. 3-0 on the RBI double. Dansby Swanson led off the inning with a base on balls. And he will now bat for the second time in the inning. That one drilled left field. Swanson unloads. Gone! Dansby Swanson a grand slam and the Cubs have opened it up here in Pittsburgh. It is 11-2. Now still two balls and two strikes with the bases loaded. Scoreless top five for the Marlins. Line drive over the head of McMahon into left field in the base head. Fortes will score. Here comes Norby. Throw to the plate, not in time. A two-run single for Jesus Sanchez. The Marlins are on the board, leaning two to nothing here in the fifth. Uh -oh. High drive, deep right center toward our golden pond. Home run, Ryan McMahon. Three, two, Colorado. Parker Meadows, Sox two, Tigers one. That ball's crushed. Deep right field. So much for that White Sox lead. We're tied at two. We got a whole new game now. Yeah, we do. And he knew it on oh, contact. Yeah. Justin Anderson gets brought in to face Torkelson. Spencer is two for three on his birthday. Torque high in the air center field. Robert back at the track. Happy birthday, Torque Bomb. Torque. Got a present for the White Sox. And the Tigers break it open here in the seventh. Now lead it six to two. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.